Okay, let's see what we have today. This is supposed to be the last cold day we're going to have till we get back into the warm-up again. December 19th, and we have 21 degrees. 21 degrees. And the dogs are off chasing the squirrels on the high wires. Beginning mileage, 21532.3. 2-1-5-3-2-point-3 We had a light dusting of snow last night and the roads have been cooking in the sun for about four hours so even with it being like 21 degrees it looks like all the light dusting is gone but I'm gonna have to just carefully select my areas to drive because anywhere that there's any water it's definitely going to be ice, and I'm going to avoid that. But it looks like they didn't go crazy and spread salt last night for just the light dusting. So that makes things better. This is the, if it counts, this is going to be the third ride. And it should make us, according to what I've heard, I'm not positive until it's official, but should make us the first qualifying team, Team Viking. Me and Muzzle Mike should be the first qualifying team like we did last year. That's what we probably about the only record we'll ever set and I don't even know how official that is they do keep track of team stats so maybe it's considered official or not but to us it it has some kind of meaning and I'm not going to go out on the highway I'm just going to stay on the side roads but I'm also going to talk about another little pet peeve of mine on social networks and that is, uh, and people use this in a manipulative way too, and I'll explain that. But uh, when somebody when somebody posts about some event or something happening, and it's a typical thing where people will have different opinions about it, you will find some people that tend to comment, and sometimes they'll do it in a okay way, and sometimes they'll do it in a really nasty way. They'll say, uh, "You should not comment on this until you have all the facts." Or somebody will say, uh, be real rude and say, don't comment until you have all the facts. And sometimes, especially if it comes from the person that posted the original thing that's being commented on or a close friend of theirs, I think they're just using it as a way to shut down any kind of uh, comment that does not totally agree with them and kiss their behind about it. I've noticed on social networks, especially like Facebook too, that there are certain people that that is the only thing that's acceptable to them is a total kiss my butt comment. I agree with everything you say. If you even slightly say you don't, um, basically you're either unfriended or blocked or whatever. But I think a lot of people just use that to uh, shut down and it's in completely illogical. In the first place, if you look at the uh, total logic of it, um, what event ever that happens in life even the most simple of events and uh, even if it was videotaped are you really sure that that is 100% of all the facts that have to do with that event I mean maybe you could get close to 100% if you were talking about something really simple and non-controversial maybe you could say that viewing that event with included video and audio you pretty much know close to 100 percent of the facts but once you get anything beyond the simplest of events it's just like uh, next to impossible I mean they bring court cases against people and convict them of murder with less than 100 percent of all the facts and having everything positively known I mean even if some way you could magically learn all of the external facts of a situation how are you ever even gonna know what's going on in the people's mind I mean part of a part of an event is how people perceive it and especially if there's more than one person involved you don't know their motives or their ideas behind it how many times is there a misunderstanding because somebody will post something on a social network and somebody takes it in exactly the wrong way of what it was posted for example I posted a picture and uh, I just thought it was a funny picture of Santa um, peeing on this light display down below on the ground that was lit up and I thought it said drama and it still I mean I kept looking and looking and it said but I guess it was meant to say Obama instead of drama so people were making all kinds of weird comments and part of the 
the reason or probably the biggest reason behind that was because I totally got it wrong but it still looked like it I mean the way the it didn't look it looked like a it was the funniest looking O I've ever seen it looked way more like a D than an O so it looked like it was making fun of the drama on Facebook around Christmas time and I was thinking especially with all the every time you know Christmas time comes around your social networks have about people arguing about nativity scenes and are they taking the taking Christ out of Christmas and all the other different things you could argue and squabble about and people that know me know my uh, my idea on Christmas is I, I could take it or leave it I mean I if other people celebrate it around me I I can enjoy it and I enjoy the Christmas carols and stuff like that but if I was in a place or a country or belong to a particular church believe it or not there are some real um, conservative Orthodox churches that don't believe in celebrating Christmas, they think, because it has some pagan things along with it that uh, it's not really the Christian thing to do. And I would just, I would just go along. It's not like I can't see anywhere in the Bible where it specifically says a Christian must celebrate Christmas. So, <laughs> but anyway, back to the topic at hand that I began with. Yeah, when people. When people use that comment of, uh, you shouldn't comment until you know all the facts, it's basically just being used as manipulation, a way to shut down any kind of counter-argument. They're not using it because they really think that all of a sudden some fact is going to come, at least, at least as far as I know, and I guess I'm, I'm judging people based on their motives that I don't know and I can't read their mind, but uh, my best guess is that's the, the logic they're using behind it is basically they don't have the guts to just tell you oh shut up we don't really like your opinion or you know just come straight out and say shut up I don't I don't want your opinion on this we only want positive type of opinions I did see that a couple of times though I've seen people be plain and truthful about it and say basically uh, if you don't want to post positive stuff about this uh, your opinion is not welcome and the comments will be deleted and in certain cases I can see that too I mean if you post a picture of your kid maybe in a Halloween outfit or a Christmas outfit or an Easter dress or something like that you don't want to see any kind of people making any kind of nasty comments or anything like that and it's certainly if uh, somebody's going to make a negative comment about that they're probably worthy of being unfriended and blocked anyway but anyway let me know in the comments or make a reply video yourself of uh, agree disagree or anything you think I didn't state well enough needs to be stated in a different way and I think we should have ride number three in the books ending mileage 21 534.9 21 534.9